from New York City, Comedy Central presents Keith Lee. It's great to be in New York, man. This is so awesome. This is great. <laughs> It's weird living in New York, cause like I'm not very tough, you know, <laughs> like, cause my name is Pete Lee, and uh, you can't be tough if your name is Pete Lee, cause my name has four E's in it. <laughs> my name sounds like the horn of a moped. It's like Pete Lee, <laughs> Pete Lee. My name sounds like if a moped had a really sissy car alarm, you know, it's like Pete Lee, Pete Lee, Pete Lee, was, was pansy, pansy. Wake, wake, Pete. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. Oh. And you can't be tough if your name rhymes like mine does. My parents might as well name me Okie Dokie. <laughs> or in Spanish, Okie Dokie. Okie Dokie, ha. I, um, I do have a girlfriend, you know, and it's weird when I say that, people look at me the way that you people are looking at me right now. Like, she's probably imaginary. When we first started dating, all my buddies, they were like, hey, Pete, where's this girlfriend of yours? I was like, dude, she travels all around the world for work, all right? They're like, yeah, so does Santa. You know? and, um, and my girlfriend's name is Jamie, which that doesn't help that my girlfriend has a dude's name, you know? <laughs> Like, why do you parents keep naming your adorable little daughters dudes' names, you know? Because sissies like me date them, and we gotta be like, hey, this is my girlfriend, Travis. <laughs> it sucks, man. But so we came up with a solution. We wanted to give each other cute little nicknames, you know? Like, she nicknamed me Pumpkin Butterbutt. <laughs> yeah, and I nicknamed her Sarah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. But I'm so mad at Sarah right now um, because about a year ago, she got me this T-shirt that had a little house on it with a little circle around it, you know? And I'm wearing it constantly because, like, I love her. I thought it was a band. I was like, circle house, gah, 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 you know? No clue what it was until yesterday. My best friend goes, no, dude, that's home. Oh. They were like, you're a circle house, dude. <laughs> I was wondering why men kept buying me mojitos. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I'm mojito Pete, zip. <laughs> and I mean, look at me. It's not like I need to look like any more of a sissy. I'm about as tough as a mustache on a blonde guy. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen a blonde dude trying to rock the mustache solo? He's like, grr, I'm a biker. It's like, no, dude, you're a cyclist. <laughs> When I was a little kid, my mom tried to toughen me up. She signed me up for that Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America program, because uh, I had no strong male role model in my life. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah, and you know who that really ticked off was my dad, <laughs> who's an interior decorator. <laughs> yeah, dude, my dad's an interior decorator, but he's originally from Texas. He's like yee-haw without the haw. He's just yee. <laughs> Gather around, kids, spirit finger gazebo. <laughs> and my dad claims to not be gay, which is hilarious. He's always like, I am not gay, Peter. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you are. You named me after something you like. I'm like, yeah, I believe you, you're not gay. You're just a normal dude with a flair for design, you know? He's got a black lab named Oprah. <laughs> and your wife looks like the Russian that Rocky fought. <laughs> yeah, dude, my dad gave me my Y chromosome, it's just mine's in cursive. <laughs> uh, 
I always used to rebel against my dad. I was a huge Metallica fan, you know? Oh, I love Metallica. I'd oh, jam out. I was hardcore. I had Metallica stickers all over my sewing machine. You know? <laughs> It's a true story. I'd be jamming onto my foot pedal. I'd be like, gah, 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 gah. oh, crud, I ran out of thread on my bobbin. <laughs> I'm almost, almost getting into fights with like weak people. I almost got into a fight the other day with a girl. Um, yeah, what happened is I was in this teeny bopper store and I found these jeans on the sale rack that they made my butt look juicy. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, and I took him up to the counter, and this little snarky girl, she almost made me cry. Um, she was like, no, I'm sorry, sir. These aren't really $19.99. Um, these are really $64.99. I'm just going to take these back, because you probably can't afford them. Take them back. <laughs> I took them back. I took them back. I was like, listen here, tits waggle. I was like, you are really super cute. And she's like, really? I am? I'm pretty? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I took that one back. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, you can't have that compliment, sister. And you know what else? You wear too much makeup, little girl. How can I tell your face doesn't match your neck, all right? <laughs> Seriously, there's a line, all right? You're in 10th grade, take an art class. Shade that crap, all right? Shade it. Seriously, wanted to use painter's tape? That line is perfect. <laughs> and then I stole those jeans. I was like, yeah, can't see me stealing through those tears, can you hope? Mm. <laughs> oh, don't cry, you look fat when you cry. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys remember one line from my act, remember you look fat when you cry? Because that's the meanest thing that you can say to somebody without cursing. Because somebody can be terrible to you, and you can be like, you look fat when you cry. And then they cry, and then you get to say it again. <laughs> I love it. If you guys can't tell what my personality is, um, uh, my personality is I'm passive aggressive. And um, if you guys don't know what that means, it just means that I'm like a little mascot. You know, out here I'm all like, oh, well, look at me. I'm all fun and friendly, and I'm really super nice. But in here, I have a secret. I hate people. <laughs> you know? What it really means, passive aggressive, is that I, I just prefer revenge to communication. <laughs> and if you guys don't think that revenge is awesome, you've never snuck into your boss's office and taped firecrackers to all his light bulbs before. <laughs> yeah, no annual raise, happy Chinese New Year. Dance, dragon, dance, pop, 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 pop. Or have you guys ever been doing laundry in a laundromat? Somebody takes your sopping wet clothes out of the dryer, they put theirs in on your quarter? Oh, no, you didn't, right? <laughs> what, are you, what are you supposed to do, have a little heart-to-heart -heart with them? You're like, you know what, dude, when you did that, that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> no, you don't do that. You wait till they're not looking, you open up their dryer door and you pour in milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and cotton candy, <laughs> and <laughs> confetti. <laughs> yeah, have fun folding your pinata. <laughs> the coolest thing about revenge, you know, is that revenge does not have an expiration date. It's not like milk, you know? <laughs> no siree, Bob. <laughs> No, man. Revenge is awesome, man. Like, my brother, he used to beat the living snot out of me growing up, so last October, I taught his youngest daughter that the F word means candy. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> All right? She was like, ding dong, trigger Hey, I had to get one F-bomb out of there. <laughs> my, um, my brother, he's so lazy. He, um, he's like five years older than me, and he's never on time for his job. And at his job, he delivers oxygen to old people. <laughs> now, call me crazy, but that's a job where you need punctuality. <laughs> totally, man. So now my newest joke that I like to do every morning at like 8, 17 a.m. is I like to call him up and go, <laughs> I 
It's my birthday. <laughs> Why are you so irresponsive? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> that joke even hurts to do. <laughs> I still do it every morning. <laughs> My point is that you have to have fun in life, you know? That's my point. Sometimes you gotta throw jello through a fan and aim it at somebody, right? <laughs> you know? I'm a fun person. If I was any more fun, I'd be boobs and bubble wrap. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? A bubble wrap bra girl would be like, unsnap it. You'd be like, no, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> you know? uh. Oh, mackerel. Do you guys, um, do you guys ever drive with no pants on? <laughs> I do, I love to drive with no pants on because like I can never tell if people are staring at me because like they know, you know, like <laughs> or if it's because I'm driving my moped. <laughs> Thank you guys. I just got a moped because I, um, I just moved from Wisconsin to New York City. Um, I made the move because I wanted to get in touch with my inner jerk. And, um, <laughs> and it's totally not working out for me because every time I try to act like New York tough, the Midwestern nice seeps back into me and I totally wimp out and I back down, you know? I'll be like, I'm gonna stab you in the face. Then I'll take you to the hospital. <laughs> Kiss my butt, sir. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna get your sister pregnant. Then, you know, just like be there for her. <laughs> it's crazy, man, because New York is so multicultural, you know? And my three best friends um, in New York City are three gigantic looking black dudes, you know? And I love hanging out with them. I brought them home to Janesville, Wisconsin, where I'm from, and everybody's looking at me and looking at them and looking at me and looking at them like, wow, he must be their kicker. You know? I actually play on a football league with them. That's how I met them. And I'm the worst person on the team. I suck, all right? So they nicknamed me Global Warming. <laughs> yeah, because every time I'm on the field, they act like I don't even exist. <laughs> you know? So I wanted to give our team captain, Trey, I wanted to give him a cool nickname, but I'm like really bad at that too. Um, so the other day I was like, what's up, Snoopy? And, uh, right? and he's like, why you calling me Snoopy? And I was like, oh, I'm awkward, right? <laughs> you know, because you're originally from New Orleans, and every time you see a picture of Snoopy, he's always on top of his roof. <laughs> That's the cutest, meanest joke you've ever heard. <laughs> hey, I said it, you laughed. <laughs> see you in hell. <laughs> I have a really weird roommate in New York. Um, my roommate, he's a 29-year-old virgin, right? No, silence is the appropriate response to that. <laughs> when I first met him, I'm like, wow, that's so rare. You're like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> but he's always trying to brag about his virginity, like it's one of those high school, after school specials. He's always like, bro, I'm a virgin because Jesus Christ wants me to be a virgin. Awesome. I'm like, yeah, dude, of course God wants you to be a virgin. That's why he made you ugly, dude. <laughs> He's like, but my parents are virgins when they're married. I'm like, yeah, dude, ugly plus ugly equals you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, when you were born for the first time, God was like, crap, maybe Darwin was right. <laughs> hey, St. Peter, check out this ugly baby that I made. <laughs> Looks like someone stomped on a yogurt cup. <laughs> I know. I know, and it's weird because some people laughed really hard at that joke and other people were like, nah, you know? <laughs> and those people are called ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know who you are, you mutts. <laughs> what do I care? I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Actually, my favorite group of people, um, they're ugly people, you know, because they make you feel comfortable, you know? <laughs> I don't even like to call them ugly. I like to nickname them pineapples, you know, because they're rough around the edges, but they're super sweet. 
<laughs> my favorite thing in the world is people watching, because I love it when you have an ugly person and a pretty person combined, and they're holding hands in love, and they don't even realize that it's hilarious to all of us. I call those algebra couples, because when you see them together, it's like an impossible math equation that you can't figure out in your head. You know what I'm talking about? You're like, wait a second, how in the world did he get her? I don't get a dude, show your work, dude, show your work. <laughs> Seriously, because if you divide her by you, there's a remainder, all right? <laughs> Seriously, she's an orgasm, you're a sunburn, all right? <laughs> and you've got it the other way around, right? Sometimes, ladies, you have, like, a suave underwear model dude. He's like, mm, I'm handsome. Mm. <sighs> and next to him, you have his skank of a girlfriend that she's the reason why pools are chlorinated. <laughs> <laughs> And if you did shove her into a pool, it would look like you dunked a tea bag in hot water, right? <laughs> Just gloop dirty. I, um, I don't cheat on my girlfriend, you know, which is weird for dudes, you know? Um, but it's weird, whenever I say that I don't cheat on my girlfriend, girls always get all attitude to Judy on me. You know, they're like, you don't cheat on your girlfriend. What do you want, a prize? I'm like, yeah. I want an awesome prize. <laughs> I want a Corvette and a penguin. Because the only thing better than driving a Corvette would be passenger seat penguin, right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Dudes would be rolling up on you. Check out my flat screen TVs. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I got a penguin. <laughs> Dual climate control. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'll get that one for you, penguin. <laughs> You know the best part about having an imaginary penguin in my act is uh, I don't smoke marijuana, so that just means I'm weird. <laughs> I don't smoke marijuana because my grandma, all throughout growing up, um, she owned a bong shop. I swear to God, all my buddies would be like, dude, why don't you get stoned with us? I'm like, I don't want to smell like grandma. Well, my grandma, I, I love her. She just turned 89 years old. She had her 89th birthday party. And it was cool because the theme of her birthday party on the streamers and on the cake, it was not dead yet. It was awesome. <laughs> but it was sad because at her own party, she fell down the stairs. Have you guys ever seen that live and in person? Old lady falling down the stairs. She just tumbled and tumbled. Her legs and arms are going everywhere. Her hip fell off, you know? <laughs> it looked like a combination between like a gymnastics floor routine, but it sounded like a shoe in the dryer. And her wig flew up and it hit the ceiling fan. It just exploded like it was 4th of July. It was like <laughs> <laughs> And her air tank was chasing her because it's attached to the face. And the whole time I was like, oh my God, do not laugh right now. <laughs> That'd be so tacky. <laughs> but I was the only one that physically saw her fall down the stairs. All my relatives, they did get all prickish to me in their little Wisconsin accents. They were like, oh my God, how'd she fall? I know you know. I know you know. I was like, I don't know, dude. Maybe she was in a hurry. I don't know. Cause it takes her like a half an hour to get down the damn stairs. Maybe she's like, oh, screw this. Some people laugh. Some people are like, wow, you're going to hell. <laughs> she didn't do it because she was in a hurry. <laughs> I pushed her. <laughs> no, but I had to push her. Have you ever tried to walk behind your grandma down the stairs? It sucks. It's like the slowest thing in the world. I'm behind her. I'm like, crap, bathroom's downstairs. Gotta go, gotta go. Crap, you know. Can't go left, can't go right. Can't go left. Tick tock, grandma. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Here's your walker. 
Oh, don't cry. You look fat when you cry. <laughs> All right, I'm Pete Lee. Thanks for being a great crowd. Thank you very much.